Hi there! In this video I will show you how to install non desktop environment on Oracle 8 Linux and how to configure VNC server to remotely connect to it via screen sharing if you're on a Mac or if you're on a PC you can use VNC Viewer or any other tool that allows you to do screen sharing. I will be doing this on a free Oracle 8 server on Oracle Cloud. You can get this one for free and if you don't know how check one of my videos on how to get free server on Oracle Cloud. To begin, we're going to go ahead and install our GNOME desktop environment and to do that we're going to run the following command. And this usually takes about 15 minutes or so, so I will fast forward and I will be back when it's done. Alright, once you have GNOME desktop environment successfully installed, you can go ahead and set graphical mode as a default login for your user. To do that, you can run the following command. And once you have that done, you can go ahead and reboot your system. And then after the reboot, you can go ahead and connect your system again. And I'm going to switch to root since I've been working with root and go to my home directory. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to Etsy GDM custom con file and here you want to go down to this line where it says Wayland enable and you want to uncomment this and that way you ensure that VNC uses x.org instead of Wayland. Once you have that done you can go ahead and save the file and close it. The next thing you want to do is you want to install the VNC server package and all of its dependencies. You can do that by running the following command. And this will take a few minutes, so I will be right back when it's done. Alright, once you have the VNC server installed, you can go ahead and set VNC password for your user. So you can do VNC pass WD. And I usually use the same password as my Linux password for my user, but it could be different, it's up to you what you want to do. And here it gives you option to set up a view only password that way you can give it to a user to just connect your shared screen but they won't be able to control it i'm gonna say no once you have the password set you can go ahead and add your user to the vnc users list you can do that by going to etsy tiger vnc vnc server users and then here you can go down and add your user so I'm gonna give it port 1 and I'll give access to my root user go ahead and save that file and after you have added your user you can go ahead and configure your screen resolution and you can do that in Etsy Tiger VNC VNC server dash config defaults and in here for session name you can keep it as a gnome and you want to add geometry and for geometry um, here's where you're going to put your resolution and in my case i'm going to put 1280 by 1024 and you can play around see what best fits your screen but for me i'll just leave it with this all right once you have all that set up you can go ahead and reload system this service so you can run sudo system ctl daemon reload oh and i missed an s here there you go and the next thing you want to do is you want to enable and start the vnc server so i'm going to do sudo systemctl enable dash dash now vnc server at we said port number one service all right now you can check and just make sure that uh, your vnc server is running and listening so you can run this exact same command as here but instead of enable now you can just say status and as you can see it's active and it's running and you can also check and see on what port is listening so if you do net stat dash n l t p and you can see that it's listening on 5901 all right so the next thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and screen share into that server since the vnc by default is not encrypted we're not going to open 
5901 port and try to connect through it. What we're going to do is we're going to set up encrypted SSH tunnel from our local machine to the server. And that's how we're going to connect to it. So that way we have an encrypted connection. So to do that, we're going to start a new terminal and that will be in my local computer. And I'm going to go to my downloads directory because that's where my private keys that I'm using to connect to my Oracle Cloud servers are. So then the next thing you want to do is you're going to run this command ssh l then we're going to use the port that our vnc server is listening to so 5901 5901 local host and then the same port 5901 and then i'm going to give it path through my key and i'm using the 2217 key and then i'm going to connect with my oracle instance default user so PC and the IP of my server is 158.101.112.164 and go ahead and click enter and once you have this connection established you can go ahead and open your screen sharing tool so since I'm running a Mac I'm going to use screen sharing but if you're in a PC, you can use a VNC viewer or whatever tool you use for a screen share. And once you open that, all you have to do is type localhost and then the port 5901 and then click connect and then it's going to ask you for a password and this will be the password that we set up earlier so again i use the same password as i use for my user but if you use different password this is what you want to enter here's the password that you set up when we were installing the, the vnc server and there you go i'm connected into my oracle 8 gnome desktop environment so here you can just pick your language next keyboard next privacy if you want to connect with one of your google or microsoft account but then you can just start using the server and you can go just make sure you have an internet connection but that's pretty much it i hope this video was helpful to you if you liked it please click on the like button and if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe for my channel thanks for watching